Valley Bible Time. Good morning. It is Dominic Steele. Thanks very much for joining us. It's Wednesday morning, the 3rd of July, and we've finished up on Isaiah now. We're jumping into John's Gospel. We're going to pick up in Daily Bible Time in John chapter 4 today. And um, Jesus, in John chapter 4, sentence 1, is moving from Jerusalem to Samaria. And so, verse 1, the Pharisees heard that Jesus was gaining and baptizing more disciples than John. So Pharisees, the leaders of the Jews, and... Um, I'm guessing this means John and Jesus are on some kind of Pharisee surveillance. Um, although interestingly, verse 2, it was not Jesus who baptized, but his disciples. Now, when the Lord learned of this, um, I guess the surveillance kind of stuff, he, um, he left Judea and went back once more to Galilee. So he decides to head north to get out of the hot spot of Jerusalem. Now, he had to, verse 4, go through Samaria. So he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Now jo Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about the sixth hour. Now, sixth hour, lunchtime, six hours since the sun went up. Um, the place, Jacob's well, Sychar, or Sychar in Samaria. And um, just think, Jacob... Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. So you've got um, Jacob is Abraham's grandson. And it was Jacob that later changed his name to Israel. So Jacob's, well, Jacob was one of the patriarchs, the fathers of the nation Israel. He was father of the 12 men who went on to be heads of each of the 12 tribes of Israel. They were each given a portion of land the land of Israel to govern. Jacob is the patriarch. He's the big guy. And um, late in life, he dug a well. And the deep well is fed by a spring and yields fresh, cool water. And actually, it's still there, I read, on the outskirts of West Bank in Nablus. And so Jesus, hot day, lunchtime, dusty in the country. Jesus sits by the side of the road right next to not just any well, but a well dug by his great, 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 great grandpa Jacob and further background we're in Samaria and at the time of Jesus there'd been a long long history of conflict between what were known as the um, the Jews at this point the southerners and the Samaritans the northerners the ten tribes people and the conflict well the conflict that really originated here that stood behind all of this animosity um, was that just after Solomon was king of Israel Solomon's son Rehoboam split off from Jerusalem and took the 10 northern tribes with him. And so it's a big deal, the splitting of the kingdom of Israel, a big rift. Um, and so you once, under David, under Solomon, had 10 united, or sort of 12 united tribes of Israel, um, the, the 12 sons. Well, now you've got the 10 northern tribes, the Samaritans, and the two southern tribes, the Jews. And the Jews and the Samaritans, well, they recognize their shared history but they do not like each other. And so Jesus comes, hot day, conscious of the need to water, sitting by his grandpa's well, um, the well named after the founder of Israel. It's midday, it's hot, and a Samaritan woman came to draw water. Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into buy food. And here you have the first sign of Jesus' acceptance of the Samaritans that he speaks to her and she is shocked at this and we're going to pick up with that tomorrow on Daily Bible Time Heavenly Father we do thank you that we see even in this little moment as Jesus comes to this famous place in Israel that he demonstrates acceptance um, accepting this woman, this Samaritan woman as he speaks to her and we thank you for that sign from him, and we pray that we might be like that. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us, Daily Bible Time today. See you tomorrow morning. God bless.